And then I guess, what's your takeaway this summer? It seems like you guys spent a lot of time together. Obviously, Troy and Monty talked about defense. Just what have you guys tried to collectively come together and set the tone with that you need to take? Uh, I'll say just continue to build, um, build on our foundation. Um, you know, obviously, defense is going to be um, a key for us this year. But um, you know, as a whole, I feel like this summer uh, we worked hard. Um, you know, the atmosphere in the gym every day was was um, was definitely next level, and you know, definitely different. How, like being post extension and going into year four, do you feel more like you're stepping into maybe like that veteran big brother role for certain guys? And kind of how do you work your own priorities and make some things shift? Yeah, uh, for sure. Um, you know, going into year four. Uh, I definitely feel like, um, you know, I'm helping the younger guys out, and you know, I'm starting to get looked at as, you know, a vet on this team, and um, you know, my own expectation is just to, you know, continue to pour in to what we have here, uh, come in every day, and um, you know, just be myself and and continue to lead. What are those early conversations with Bonnie? Like, not, not even just about you. Your role, or yeah. your individual role, whatever position you play, but just like mm -hmm. what he wants you to mean to this team, and maybe even the precedent he wants you to set as we yeah. talked about defense and so forth. Um, yeah, um, definitely spoke. He definitely spoke to me about defense, um, and you know, just being in charge on that side of the floor, and continuing to lead this team, and um, you know, just coming in every day and being who I am, and um, you know, he sees that and. Uh, you know, he don't want me to change anything about that. So just continue to be myself every day and, you know, help lead the guys. Do you, do you see yourself now as <coughs> as a power forward more than more than a center? And, yeah. and with that in mind, that did you focus as, as much this summer as on um, perimeter shooting as anything? Yeah, um, I definitely see myself um, more as a power forward now. Uh, you know, especially having this group of bigs, uh, you know, I see myself as a power forward. And, you know, uh, a key this summer, you know, even after talking to, uh, you know, Coach Monty was um, continue to get comfortable with doing certain things he's going to have me do this, this season at the four. So uh, that's been a lot of my focus this season. Is that, is there, uh, everybody focuses on the three point shooting, but, but the other end too involves some different challenges for you. Mm -hmm. When you say that he asked you to focus on some of those things, what are some of the other things besides just shooting that, that is, are involved in that transition? In terms of defensively, oh, um, defensively, just being being that anchor. Um, I feel like every team needs an anchor um, that can anchor the defense. So, you know, being the an anchor and uh, like I said, just continue to be myself. Um, you know, it's not like he pointed out certain things for me to do, but uh, you know, he respects what I'm about and just don't want me to change that. Let's say about you about our first Um, he's ready. He's ready. Um, Asar knows how to play uh, great team basketball. Uh, defensively, you know, his game is off the charts. Uh, you know, I feel like um, he's going to be playing from day one because, uh, you know, he's um, he's just such an easy guy to play with. Say off the charts, what is it? I guess specifically, um, stands out in your mind. It could be a lot of things. It's just little things he do, you know, on the court. Um, defensively, how ahead he is, um, especially being the rookie. and. You know, just little things that it's it's a lot of like wild moments he'll do. So uh, I say that's it. Is it more defensive game, especially for a young like this? Is it more uh, a willingness to want to play defense, or just having like a physical? Um, I say physical. Um, physical. We're all there. Um, I feel like we got a we got a group of tough guys that's, um, that don't shy away from any contact. Uh, I think more so just with us being young. Uh, a challenge is going to be is us just communicating, you know, a lot on that end, uh, and I feel like that's going to be our biggest challenge is um, communicating on that end. With the newcomers that you that you guys have, how different do you think this team will look on the court on a, on a given day, and, and how different is it from when you first got here? Yeah, um, you know, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I know, um, you know, I even co uh, told Coach this is. You know, going to year four, the energy is just different. Um, it's different. I'm going to my uh, my fourth year, and it just feels different. So um, we're not sure what it's going to look like, but um, we're just working hard, and we know um, we, you know we're, what we're working towards and the goals we um, we're trying to achieve. How would uh, how would you assess Kate's Kate's recovery? Yeah. 
Uh, man, great. Um, he's looked great this summer, um, strong, and you know, just getting back to, to, to doing what he, you know, he's great at. So uh, it's been great getting in some reps with him this summer, and uh, you know, playing in some runs with him. You were a young center that kind of got thrown into the fire, and you know how hard that can be defensively. Just yeah. learning, even the mental aspect of that. For JD, um, him going through a year, do you think that's going to significantly help him on that end of the floor? He's obviously yeah. physically has it all there, but just going through it, does mm -hmm. that change everything for a young guy? Oh yeah, for sure, uh, for sure. And you know, with him, he has the strength to to compete against you know um, a lot of other centers in the league. So with him having a year under his belt, um, you know the games continue to to slow down for him. So uh, I'm excited for him. Yeah. I'll say just getting to the spots, um, getting to the spots, and. You know, being able to make it look so easy, um, and you know, I think you know he's great at that, slowing the game down, uh, being able to get what shot he wants, and you know his shots look great. So, yeah. Troy Weaver spoke about how you're the kind of guy that they look for in this organization. Called you like a model piston, mm -hmm. and having the support of your GM, having the support of the organization, um, does that just strive you to continue to just grow and continue to? Yes, uh, most definitely. When you have, you know, Troy, um, Coach Mont, and just your teammates and the whole organization behind you, and you know they view you uh, as such, is you, you know it's definitely an honor, and um, you know to be viewed as that, you know, just goes to to show that you know uh, you know hard work pays off, and um, like I said, just continue to be me, and uh, just try to help lead this team and do everything I can to help us. You spoke of the energy, felt a little different. You look around. Football side with the Lions, yeah. being young and watching their transformation. Do you guys take anything from that as far as it is any motivation that we're trying to get? And make our program better. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> most definitely. Most definitely. You know, when you see the Lions and, you know, the, the games, the fans are crazy, um, they're off to a great start. Uh, you know, that definitely make, you know, make us, um, you know, give us some feel to, because, you know, we want to be one of them teams in Detroit too, so. Most definitely. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.